So today I decided I didn't want to sit around and record for you. I decided you guys are going to come on a field trip with me. It's field trip day, kids. Did you bring your permission slips? I hope so. We are going to go to Joanne Fabrics, my favorite store ever. And we're going to pick up some craft stuff for not only my roomy gifts, but uh, a nice craft that I'm going to be doing to hang photos on my wall while at Florida. So um, let's hope that I balance my checkbook and that I have the correct funds for this. Okay, we have made it to our destination. So we got our list. And we got our coupons. I'm a big coupon person. Don't judge me. We don't have that much money to spend here. We gotta, we gotta save every penny we can. So I, I thought about it more, and so I have this exact list of what we need. You guys are gonna keep me honorable. I'm not gonna buy anything else extra. This is like going into Target for me, okay? Joann's is my Target. I could go in easily and spend like 200 bucks on like one trip and not shed a tear at all. So you guys are going to keep me truthful. So maybe I should start doing this more often. Every Joanne's trip, I just vlog every single time. Or if you have a, sho a shopping problem, maybe that maybe you vlog every single time you have an urge. I'm going into therapy. Um, I'm opening a practice soon in case you're interested. I've actually faked you out. We're not going to Joanne's first. We're going to Dollar Tree first. And I'll show you exactly why when we're inside. Fun little fact, crafters fact. If you are looking for Mod Podge, sometimes Dollar Tree has it and it's like the best thing ever. But that's only if they have it and if they really like me, which appears today they do not. So while the Mod Podge was unfortunately a bust, we got our clothes pins, yay! Somebody must have shined down on me from the Dollar Tree gods. Because look what they have. Okay, so we got our Mod Podge and we got our clothespins. Two items down, a whole list to go. That moment when it's still summer, it's July, and Joanne already has their fall collection. I'm sorry, it's still summer. This is a little much for me. I don't know if I can handle this just yet. This is when I need you guys to keep me honest because I just walked past the sale aisle and it was really hard. So first item we're gonna check off the list is um, a string. So I think I'm going to go with a hemp cord um, or like a twine. Um, I think this one's about eight yards or so. Um, this way uh, I'm gonna hang the photos on it. Uh, and it's not gonna be too thick. It's not gonna hold too much of a shape. Next, I'm gonna pick up some beads um, that are gonna serve as a weight um, at the bottom of the string so that even though the photos are light, um, the strings will still hang straight. Uh, I really like the look of these. However, the hole looks a little bit smaller than my twine. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get these and we'll just tack a few of these on um, at the ends of each piece of string. Next item on the list is a bag of gems. Um, I'm not gonna say what these are for, other than they are for my roommate gifts. So roomies, I hope you guys love sparkles. Um, this is probably about my fourth time coming here and buying a bag of gems just for you guys. That's how much I love you. That was one of the hardest things I have ever done to myself in my entire life. There was this super cute, really adorable gray gemmed dream pillow and I just bought I'll have to do I, I will have to do a DCP haul uh, video for you guys and show you guys what all I've gotten um, but I got this really cute bedding and it would have been a match perfectly but I didn't have a coupon for it so you guys kept me honest I hope you guys are happy with yourselves because now I'm pillowless but thanks I guess okay drastic change of scenery we are now part two of our little field trip today. Um, special surprise for you guys. Give a big drum roll. I'm gonna introduce you to my fiance. Say hi. 
Hi. This is Jerry. Jerry, meet everybody. Hopefully, whoever's viewing this, whoever views this, whoever's watching. Okay, so our goal on this portion of the field trip is to find a nice sturdy stick. Something nice, nice width and length, and it sounds like I'm describing something else, but I am not. So it looks like Jerry found a stick. Well, I found one. It's kind of boring. But Jerry found one with character. Look at that character-ness, character-full stick thing. Okay. So, since we've started walking, I have slowly but surely been taking off the bark. And my original plan for this was going to be to paint it gold. However, now that I'm seeing the natural wood, I'm actually really kind of liking it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take it home and we are going to cover it in Maj Podge and seal it and make sure that no air can get in. Um, probably whittle down some of these sharper points a little bit more. Um, yeah, but for the most part, this was a very successful trip. Um, just to kind of show you where we are. That teeny tiny little thing right there, that's my hometown. That's Athens, Ohio. Yeah, kind of nice.